Welcome to Ultium Designer PCB Updates. Oftentimes there are design changes to the schematics that need to be transferred to the PCB in progress. This module walks through the update process from schematics to PCB. The WC topping design required an update to the power supply section. Here we see the original 5 volt 3 amp supply. It's not unusual for designs to need updating once the PCB work is started. Here's the updated power supply schematics. Now we have 5 volts at 5 amps, and in addition we added a 3.3 volt local supply rail. Looking at the original power supply schematics and comparing them with the updated version, we see there are some additions such as the 3.3 volt supply and some component changes. The update from the schematics is initiated using the same method as the initial transfer, design and then update PCB document. As the changes involved adding new components and replacing components while keeping the same old reference designators, the update process will generate a number of windows that indicate these differences. The first indicates that there are nine component unique identifiers not matching. This brings up an important concept within Altium. Every object has a unique ID that is used to provide synchronization between the schematic and the PCB objects. If there are components with the same reference designators in the schematics in PCB whose unique IDs do not match, Altium will generate a warning as you can see in this window. As we are updating the design, we can allow the tool to automatically update the links. The next window that pops up is the familiar ECO window with all the changes listed needed to the PCB. When reviewing the ECO generated, remember to check because if your design had added class definitions in the PCB, you would not want this ECO to delete them, so you would want to uncheck their enable boxes. We will disable the room generation as we are done using rooms for the PCB floor planning. Execute the ECO. Now let's check for errors. We can now place the new components onto the PCB. One feature that is helpful when the unique IDs get out of sync between the schematics and the PCB is the Under Project Component Links tool. Opening up the Component Links window from the Project pull-down menu, we see the Editor window for Component Links. Note that the left and center sections of the window are empty. That indicates that there are no mismatches between the components found in the schematics relative to the PCB. If there were differences, we would see them listed in these sections. I typically would use the Add Pairs Match By button if there were differences noted, and then click Perform Update. Even with nothing in these two sections, it may update some of the components if there were changes to the schematic sheet names, for example, and then save the PCB if you need to. With Altium's unified data model, the unique IDs are the real identifiers for all of the components as well as other objects. They're used when changes are made to the reference designators to keep the database in sync. Annotation is one such operation that changes the component reference designator but uses the unique IDs to facilitate the updates between the schematics and PCB. Now that we have updated the PCB, we could continue with the layout process. Here's another quick example of component IDs. We will use the manual matching method this time. First, let's replace the A-pin connector, keeping its reference designator the same. Now we want to do an update to the PCB, and this time we click on the Manual Component Link option. This opens up the edit window for component links where we can see the left and center sections listing the schematic and PCB components that are different. With both selected, click Add Pairs Matched By, noting that the boxes to the right has a check mark on the designator box. Now click Update. We get the information window and are now ready for the main ECO that was auto-generated. As the only difference is now rooms, we can disable them and just go back to the PCB. This concludes Module 21, Altium Designer PCB Updates, where we demonstrated how to transfer changes in the schematics to the PCB, as well as introduced the Component Properties Unique ID concept. Please do the Updating PCB exercise.